Hello and welcome to my first destination on this railway journey, which is the beautiful coastal retreat of Braystones. It's just gorgeous and what a lovely day it is with these beautiful views overlooking the Irish Sea. Before coming on this railway journey, I was reading my copy of Pearson's 1992 Railway Guide. And there was a quote in there that really sums up this visit when it says that the tiny halts at Braystones and Nevertown, which I'll be visiting later, are as remote as anything British Rail has to offer. There are just very basic facilities at this station. To me, that's the charm of visiting a place like this. You're just alone with nature. I guess that there will be some of you watching this who are not sure where Braystones is. We're about 10 miles to the south of Whitehaven and it's around 50 miles or so to the southwest of Carlisle and also around 40 miles or so to the north of Barrow in Furness. The area is renowned as a holiday destination and there are a number of holiday cabins on the beach as well as a large caravan park behind the railway station. The former station buildings are now in private ownership and I really like the fact that it's called Platform 9 and 3 quarters. I wonder how many Harry Potter fans know about this. Tarnside Holiday Park, which you can see here, is perfectly situated for tourists to enjoy a peaceful holiday away from it all. I don't know about you, but it looks a lovely place to have a holiday. And having the railway line here too is just the icing on the cake. The height of the platform at Braystones is very low, so a Harrington hump has been installed to allow passengers to embark and disembark safely. I was interested in this UWC, or User Worked Crossing, which is right next to the platform at Braystones. It's for use by people staying at the holiday chalets on the beach who are able to contact the signaller by telephone, who will then give permission for them to bring their vehicles across the crossing when it's safe to do so. Leaving Braystones, I come on to England's coastal path to walk just over a mile between Braystones and Nevertown. There are some stunning views over the coast and the countryside, but here you can see British Nuclear Fuels Sellafield Nuclear Reprocessing Plant. I visited Sellafield Station back in October 2022 when I talked a lot more about the work of the nuclear reprocessing plant and the history of the station and you'll find the video for this on my YouTube channel. From this elevated position you get an all-round panoramic view of the lovely Cumbrian countryside and the view looking towards my next destination which is Nevertown. I'm just staying here for a couple of minutes because there is a train due that's coming down from Carlisle heading towards Barrow.
I'm continuing my journey along this lovely coastal path and in front of me lies the village of Nevertown, which today is predominantly residential and agricultural. I've reached the coast and in front of me lies Nevertown Station, which is the least used passenger railway station in Cumbria. And it has been the least used station for a number of years. And I think you can see why. <laughs> it's very, very remote with cliffs on one side, the Irish Sea on the other side, and the station is sandwiched right in the middle. It's just a breathtaking location. The first view that you get of Nevertown Station from this elevated position is really special and unforgettable. I suppose really to sum up, it's why I do what I do. It's a railway enthusiast's paradise. In its day, the station had two platforms. There was also a passing loop and a signal box all of which was removed back in the 1970s. You get a good view here of the disused platform, which is still intact, but all trains now run on a single track between St. Bees and Sellafield. Some years ago, passenger numbers were as low as 300 a year, but they have slowly increased and the last figures we have for 2021-22 were just over 1,400. This is a lovely view, looking towards St. Bee's Head. As was the case at Braystones, the height of this platform is also very low for modern rolling stock. The height of platforms across the UK rail network is not standardised and the problem was that different railway companies settled on different platform heights. The solution was this modular and easy to install system by which the height of a platform can be increased at a relatively low cost. It was first introduced in 2011 at Harrington Railway Station, which is on the Cumbrian coast, just a few stations down the line from here. And you'll find my video about the station on my YouTube channel. You get some really spectacular views of the train as it passes along the coast towards Nevertown Station. At the bottom of the screen, it is possible to make out the site of the former goods yard and it's also possible to make out parts of the base of the former signal box. From Sellafield to St Bees, the Cumbrian Coast Railway runs practically along the beach. You can always recognise the regular traveller as opposed to the tourists and railway enthusiasts 
because the former are largely immune to the beauty of the view from the carriage window, whilst the latter are just openly spellbound. No road could ever bring you so close to the sea for so long. For the best part of 20 minutes or so, the train moves slowly along the coast and you just gaze out across the shingle and at low tide the sand to where the waves of the Irish Sea are lapping the shoreline. These tiny halts at Braystones and Nevertown are truly remote. Access to the stations is by narrow single track roads. For pure escapism why not ask the guard to stop the train at one of these unfrequented stops, alight from the train and be prepared to let the majestic seascape take your breath away. That's it for my journey to Cumbria's least used stations. Join me next time when I'll be back on the West Coast mainline, armed with my Victorian Bradshaw's Guide, when I'll be visiting Penrith, the gateway to the North Lakes. My YouTube channel, Stephen Bennett's Railway Adventures, is celebrating its first anniversary, and I'd like to pass on my warm appreciation and thanks to all of you for watching and supporting my videos. Until we meet again, this is Stephen Bennett saying take care, bye bye.